Two years after the infamous protest against the farm laws, thousands of farmers have once again hit the roads on Tuesday, bringing the traffic to a standstill. Welcome to India TV. I am Nivedita. And I am Shashwat. And we are here today to talk about farmers' protest, their demands and how the government has acted so far. The timing of this protest is significant as the farmers have launched the Delhi Chalo March just weeks before the Lok Sabha elections due to be held in April-May this year. The farmers are led by Kisan Majdur Morcha and the Samyukt Kisan Morcha among several other unions. This time, farmers are demanding a law to guarantee minimum support price or MSP for their crops. Implementation of Swaminathan Commission's recommendation Pension for farmers and farm labourers Waiving of farm debts and withdrawal of police cases filed during the 2020-2021 protests Withdrawal of Electricity Act 2020 Farmers also want justice for those killed in Uttar Pradesh Lakhimpur Kheri protest Legal assurances for MSP scheme were part of the protest four years ago also well, Nivedita, these are the demands of the farmers this time. Let's take a look at how the government is preparing. A meeting between union ministers Piyush Goy and Arjun Munda and farmer representatives was held in Chandigarh on the eve of their protest, but it remained inconclusive. As per the reports, government proposed formation of a committee to deliberate on legal guarantee for MSP, debt waivers, implementation of Swami Nathan's commission's recommendations but farmer representatives remain unconvinced. Farmers say that they are coming prepared for months with ration and fuel and won't return until their demands are met. As a result, Delhi has turned into a fortress. In order to stop farmers to enter Delhi, several security measures have been taken by the administration at Singhu and Ghazipur and Tikri borders. Concrete barriers, nails, earth movers, cranes have been placed at these borders to stop them from entering Delhi. Police and paramilitary forces have also been deployed. Well, as a result of this farmers' protest, once again it's the people of Delhi NCR who are suffering. Amid traffic diversions and security precautions, massive traffic jams were witnessed at key Delhi entrances. At this point of time, it's very uncertain how this protest will unfold from here given the general elections in view. But we will keep you updated as developments follow. Keep watching India TV. Thank you.